Well, hello and welcome to the Mindset Alchemy podcast, where we explore things to do with mindset, with words, with understanding. I'm your host, Janine Kathleen, and it absolutely delights me to see people understand that there are infinite possibilities in life. And when we can allow for the infinite possibilities, we are then able to step away from poverty and paucity thinking. And we are absolutely, I love that word, absolutely. And it's a word that really, really should go in the vocabulary covered. It really, really allows us to step forward in a way that we can think differently, feel differently, and allow ourselves to be differently. <clears throat> now, let's just go back to something quickly. The vocabulary covered. One of the ways of infinite possibilities is to be aware of words that could limit us, words that can expand us, and words that sometimes, just sometimes, can trip us up. I have a beautiful vocabulary cupboard with a lovely lock on it that I open up and I put words like why, but, want, need, as far as possible in the drawers there. Yes, there are times to take them out and use them, and we use them judiciously and with awareness, because these words can limit our infinite possibilities and keep us looping and keep us in the lower vibrational side of life. It's just part of it. It's because we've become very unaware of what we are saying, the reason we're saying things, and what we would like to create with it. One of the many things I have seen people, and I know myself, it was true for myself as well, is that we forget that we create with our thoughts, our emotions, our feelings, and with our words. Our words actually shape what our thinking is creating. So even if you are saying one thing with your mouth and thinking another thing with your mind, you are actually creating a third thing in between. This is also where that delicious law of paradoxical intent comes in, the law of creation, the law of attraction, because <clears throat> we may say with our mouths that we would like to create something, and yet deep inside ourselves we have a dread and a fear of it being unable to be actualized, to be manifested, and it's the heavier feeling that wins, and it's that heavy clumpy, limiting feeling that gets in the way. And when we can become aware of this, I have seen in my life the magic and miracles that happens. I know for many years I worked on the darker side of life in that I had a doubt that things could happen for me. I doubted that things would come into play with me. And yet I did the visualization. I did the affirmations. I did all the work. What I forgot to do was to check and see where my belief is, where my programming is, and whether this was in contradiction to what I was saying I would like. So I could visualize consciously the beautiful homes, the wonderful relationships, and yet when I stopped doing that, thoughts of death, disaster, destruction would flow through. What you focus on most wins, people. Where energy goes and focus, uh, where your focus is, that's where energy flows to. The other thing that I've come to see is that when I resist something, it sticks around, it persists, persists. What we resist persists. So if you would really like to change that job, if you would really like to switch up that house, it's to say, well, what do I enjoy about it? What do I like about it? What can I celebrate about it? Because this allows it to flow away. When we're working with the heavy side, it sticks around because it's heavy. It's too heavy to move. So when you would like it to move, make it light so that it can float away like a balloon. Sometimes just make sure what you're choosing to float away because that can also be an interesting point of view. Now I use this phrase, it's an interesting point of view, because what this does is it takes that energy off something. It becomes a point of view. It's released from being a belief. It's being released from being a manifestation. It's released. Bottom line, it's released. And that is 
one of the ways that we get to use words, we get to use phrases, we get to use switch words to help ourselves step beyond the heavy into the light, to allow the heavy to become light because then it dispels the shadows. It can float. It feels good. And when it starts feeling good, guess what? You start thinking good. When you start thinking good, good is produced. Now, remember, there's no good or bad in uh, wrong or right. What I'm talking about here is light rather than right. What I'm talking about here is shadow as in what may be anything apart from right. And shadows present themselves with woundings, with traumas, with feelings of being unsafe, with those that fear factor. And something that I've learned in my life is that when a fear steps forward, I look at, at it and say, what are you signposting for me? Whose are you? Are you mine? Do you belong to someone else? And where are you showing me a better way of moving forward? Because very often when we can acknowledge our fear, we are sharing with ego that it's okay to feel that way. And that you are allowed to feel safe. You are allowed to expand those boundaries. You are allowed to feel stretched without feeling unsafe. And this is the way where the word but comes in. Many times we will use the word but to keep ourselves safe, to keep ourselves heavy and so-called grounded. Meanwhile, it's just pure, plain stuck. Grounded is where you are able to bring your idea in, bring your feeling in, understand it, allow it to be earthed, grounded into the ground and come back to you as that light feeling, that knowingness that you are moving in the better way, a greater path, that you are acknowledging any and all resistance, seeing what you can celebrate about it, seeing where it's showing you a better way of going and to move forward. When I work with clients, this is something I help them to look at. We recognize the limitations. We recognize where the beliefs are that we're unable or unworthy of doing something. And then we allow light in. We allow our greatest limitations to be our greatest possibility. Because once we move beyond them, wow, it is amazing what happens. And all because we chose to acknowledge our limitations and understand. Because we have limitations, we have strengths. And because we have strengths, we have zones of excellence and zones of geniuses. Just because something is in our zone of incompetence, well, we can release it. Find somebody else who can do it. And thus, we can let go of the but, the excuse, the way of being that keeps us stuck and we can step forward in a way that brings so much light our way. I would love to hear how you, what you feel about this and to understand it. I have been looking at many things. When I first got married, in those days, you really only got red and yellow and oranges and um, the very primary colors uh, for kitchens. And Orange definitely was um, other people's thing rather than my own. So I chose red and yellow and white. And afterwards I went, I really would love a pink and green and white kitchen. Well, people, I came to understand about two years ago, I have created my own pink and green and white kitchen. And yes, it's taken many, many years. And I can see exactly where I blocked it before. I can see exactly where I didn't allow it. And it just showed me again that when you feel worthy of something, that worthiness brings in the light and it brings in manifestations, it brings in actualizations and it helps us with being what we would like to be, who we would like to be, recognizing our limitations and creating beyond them because in life there are infinite possibilities and when we can explore those infinite possibilities and ask the better question which is also something I work with my clients with is well what's a better question here what's a better perspective what is a perspective that's more expansive rather than constrictive I now thoroughly enjoy my green, white, and pink um, accoutrements in my kitchen. And uh, the other day, this is just something else for you to. For so many years, I've 
I really was thinking, wow, I wonder how nice it would be to have a blue denim couch, covered couch. And I was sitting on a couch that uh, belongs to my landlady, and I realized it's blue denim. So for all these, and I was very comfortably sitting on it, enjoying my book when I went, wow, that desire of many years ago has come true. Took me about four years to understand it's coming true. Um, and that's okay. Look at that English. Um, <laughs> we can look at it and just work with it. Let's work with hum rather than um. We can work with om as well. I digress. I'm going down the garden path, which if you listen to my podcast often, you know that that's quite normal. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying be aware of what your inner desires are. Let them go. And then start looking for the infinite possibilities of what is available. What may be unavailable at this point in time, as you work with it, allow it, release it, let it go, let go of the resistance, can become available later on down the line. The important thing when you realize it is to celebrate. Bring in that light of celebration. Bring in that joy of celebration. Even if it's you celebrating that you could open your eyes this morning and just feel good and say, I'm grateful that I woke up this morning. I'm grateful that I woke up feeling great this morning. It's in the allowing people and that's where it comes in. And I, one of the things I enjoy working with people, one of the many things I enjoy about working with people is when they can acknowledge that the allowing brings in the change. That yes, the resistance is what's keeping you stuck. And as we go and say, okay, resistance, you are showing me where my fear is, where my doubt is, where my lack of worth is. What do I do to shift and change you? What would feel worthy? What would feel great? And start asking the better question. If you'd like to know more about working with me, reach out. My uh, details are in the show notes and book a sounding board session. And let's see what comes forward where I can help you release the heavy to bring in the light and allow what you dislike to become light enough to blow away so that what you enjoy can come your way. Have a beautiful and incredible day. Bye-bye.